all to Taxi's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about a very creative solution for one of the major problems that we are facing. So, let's move on and have a look at what is this problem and what is this solution. So, yeah, here is the question for all of us. Are the edible water pods the solution to our single-use plastic water bottle problem? Let's find out. The idea of people going green or living greener lives is something that you can find anywhere you look. On practically any soda bottle or any fast food container, you will see a triangular shape symbol with a reminder to please recycle. Local dumps have signs pointing out where you can separate your plastics to easily recycle them. People are pushing beyond the typical advertisements like billboards and commercials to encourage everyone to think about the earth and reuse what can be recycled. The minds over at the Skipping Rocks Lab have recently designed an edible water pot in hopes of creating a sustainable alternative for the single-use plastic bottles. Despite the fact that we all are fully aware of that the negative impacts these water bottles have on our other earth, we continue to consume them at an alarming rate of 480 billion per year. The Oho water pods aim to provide the convenience of these water bottles without all the waste. The water is contained in an edible membrane that is made of two tasteless ingredients, sodium alginate and calcium chloride. Both are already used in food industry and are completely safe. Currently, the membrane only lasts a few days before breaking down, but the developers are working on tougher versions that could be licensed to drinks companies. These oil pods are entirely made of seaweed and each one of them biodegrades in just four to six weeks time, about the same amount of time that it takes a piece of fruit to decompose. Every part of these pods are edible and it can even be flavored and colored if you feel like you want a little variation in. The pods have a shelf life of just a few days to ensure that the water within them stays fresh. On top of all that, they are also cheaper and cleaner to produce than plastic water bottles, yielding five times less carbon dioxide and nine times less energy versus PET. Now, with knowing about water pods, you may not wonder or you may have a curiosity about how these water pods are being formed. Okay, here is time for us to go and have a look how these water pods are being formed. Let's go. The water is frozen into a small bowl so that it holds its shape and to keep the water molecules from mixing with the membrane chemicals. Then the ice ball is dipped into calcium chloride solution. The outer layer of the ice melts and some of the calcium ion is diffusing. After that, a second bath in warm sodium alginate solution forms the membrane. Calcium ions replace sodium atoms in the alginate and bind the molecules together. Unlike sodium, calcium has two positive charges. This let it bond two alginate chains at once, tangling them up. After two to five minutes, enough of the alginate molecules have polymerized together to form a stable skin and the ice melts into a liquid central. The pod itself is compromised to a flexible casing that will eventually be used to package not just water, but also soft drinks, spirits, cosmetics and condiments. This casing has no natural taste and can either be consumed fully or thrown into compost. It's really just mean to keep the pot clean so you will have no problem peeling it off like you do at a fruit. 
The company thinks the design will particularly be popular with those who take part in marathons and other sporting events where quick burst of water is needed to keep dry. Okay, so now you might be wondering why should we switch to this new solution, water pulse? Why can't we move on with water bottles instead? If the earth continues to be hurt by pollution, it won't be able to continue supporting human life like it currently does. The earth uh, provides oxygen and a sustainable environment and also everything that a human could possibly need to survive. Food, shelter, water. Not everything can be reproduced in a lab. What earth provides us is invaluable. If the water resources continue to be polluted with plastic, not every one of us will have enough of water, clean water to use. Now, let's take this thoroughly into our account and think twice before we use another plastic water bottle. I think you have learned something really interesting in our today's video as well. So, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumb up. And if you still haven't subscribed us, taxis, go ahead and subscribe us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my new videos. I would really appreciate your comments down in the comment section. So, don't forget to leave your comments down below. So, until we meet with another interesting topic in our next video. Bye-bye.